getting that momentum right before halftime and then continuing to build on it, what changed for you guys to be able to, to turn this game around? You know, just, just stressing to the team that we got to work together. Because when, when we started working together, a lot of things happened. Uh, a lot of good things happened. Um, and as you can see, like in the first half, maybe we wasn't, we wasn't doing really too good um, playing with each other. And that, that's what we stress about uh, to everybody. Like, we got to stay together because we're all we got. We're, we're, we're in a hostile environment, so we, we got to keep the, the sidelines bumping. We got to keep the on field bumping. And it's, it's amazing. Can you talk about the goal and stand and how that helps the team? Uh, it just it really changed the, the the mentality of our team and uh, it, it got it brought up our uh, our morale. You know, we we we, we forced the uh, the the turnover turnover on downs and it really really changed the game for everybody. What, 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 uh, did you make any adjustments after that early start? Uh, there wasn't really any adjustments. It was just us playing together. Like I said before, um, it's just. The more we play together, the more things that, the more good things will will, will happen, and the outcome will, will be amazing. How different were your responsibilities as basically the only linebacker on the field? Uh, it doesn't change too much, you know. I just really do the same thing: keep the keep the crowd, uh, keep the the sideline, keep the the people on the field, make sure they know what they're doing, and play alongside my brothers, man. What were some of the things that Dante changed off the field this week for you guys that really stood out to you or surprised you? Uh, just being one and zero day by day. So it, we usually go one and zero on the week. Um, he changed it. We, we go one and zero on everything we do, and that's that's what really uh, really changed our our, our mentality. Now going into the locker room halftime, that one more motivational Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. It was amazing because it, 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 it really it really gave us the motivation to to come on on the field and, and shut them out. What was kind of the reaction to his speech? Um, we kind of knew it was coming because uh, we, we knew that we weren't doing too good in the first half. And we, we knew what we had to change. We knew what we had to do. Um, and he, he just gave us that, that speech and, and we, we, we showed out. Overall, what did Dante do this week to get you guys to buy in and rally behind him? Um, it's basically... That's a really good question. It wasn't that we... We, he had to try and b let us buy in. It's, it's like we, we bought in as soon as he came in, you know, that we don't have, we're not gonna, like, how do I say that? I really don't know how to put it in words, but just letting you know that we're behind Dante 100% and we'll, we'll always back him up. How much did having the pass rush today, being able to get to the quarterback and get some of those sacks, change things defensively? Uh, it was it was amazing, you know, uh, our, our DNs, our, uh, our, our whole front front D line and our our, our our blitzes was was amazing. You know, it got the the quarterback moving to uh, in places where he didn't really feel comfortable, and we we showed out. Did, didn't that first one? Did it feel like kind of release the weight off the shoulder of those defensive linemen? You getting that first one? Yeah, of course. Um, it it, it, it kind of gave them motivation to to do more. You know, to, to get another sack and get get another uh, uh, sack fumble, and it it was just an amazing experience.